So are you? Do you have power things? See, you don't have power things either. No, I don't. But well, that's why. Die. Hey guys, Johnny and Lauren's back for another episode of Manufactio. Hello. And I'm on the roof of our factory this time because we did go ahead and build this secondary roof. So the reason for that is now all the carbon comes up through the vents and gets trapped here and then bone meals the flowers, which I think is pretty awesome. It does. It is turned, uh, It looks kind of nice yeah. from outside as well. It, it looks nice from outside and it is working mostly. There is still some, it looks like there's still some that's escaping. Yeah, but not uh, as much. We, we, we've got mobs inside already. <laughs> oh God. So one of the first things we want to do this episode is actually something we said we would do last episode. But uh, we've hooked up uh, lanterns all around the outside of our factory and we kind of want to power them with the bio uh, generator. That's what it's called, bio yep. generator. And we do get this thing where we got to flick this lever when we come back on. Doesn't seem to uh, trigger otherwise. Missing fluid output. Hmm. Maybe not this time. Uh, come on. I... Pump. Or are we actually out of coal this time? We're actually out of coal this time. Off to a good start. Do you want to uh, go okay. fetch some coal for that? Yes. But yes, so we have got all these lanterns set up and we, rather than powering them off the same network as all our machines, we want to power them off their own dedicated bio generator. And this is really just a lot of iron as far as I can tell. Plus one of these coal generators, which if you're going home, can you get another coal generator as well? I can. Where are we keeping them? Uh, they're probably in the miscellaneous chest, I would imagine. Ah, uh, okay. Let's have a look. And I will grab some iron. Oh, a few other things we've done. Totally forgot about this, but we've lowered all these... Um, machines. Yeah, machines, but they improved blast furnace. That's what I was trying to say. So instead, these now output to conveyors underground, and we've just put carpet on top to sort of neaten things up. So that's working quite nicely, and we've got a lot of slag, and we have had a lot of materials, but we've actually been processing a lot of them. So we flipped round the lab, the lab setup, and now we have one, one basic assembler here that takes all our iron, turns it into gears. This one takes gears underneath here, and also this hopper goes into the other input. So we just put copper in there, and this turns it into red science. And this one in here obviously just turns it into research. And now that Lawrence has turned it on, all our lights came on. Yay. So that's quite nice. But we still want it to have it on its own dedicated. So it's still connected at here with the normal power. Yep. But let's that's see if we can change that. Thing that thing you wanted. What? The coal generator. Yes, I which need is... it in the workbench. I chucked it at you. Okay. There is no space in the workbench, which is a bit of a Done. problem. <laughs> so I will see if we can make this. So we need a cauldron. Do you want to go get glass? We need glass. Well, I also need basic control circuits. If you uh, want to grab them too, they should be in the miscellaneous yep, I have two of them. Two is the perfect amount. That's how many we need. Ooh, sounds like this was planned. I know. Ooh. We totally planned this. Oh, on this. And then we just need tiny input and tiny... Right, you've got all that stuff. Oh, no, you don't have conveyors. Tiny input, tiny output, which is another tiny input flipped over. There I forgot about that. not enough room in here. What? And you wanted the things, so there's glass and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. I need I need that. Don't confuse me. I need glass yeah. panes first. Um, mm. You can make those. Yeah, we'll just get rid of those sticks. We need better inventory, and that's something else we want to do today. So we've been looking at the multi-block storage um, quest, and there's a few things we need to unlock to get that. Yes. But I, I have confidence we can do it all. I'm glad one of us does. Well, there's our bio generator. So the question is, where do we want to set it up? Um, s somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere is good. I'm thinking maybe this back wall. Okay, that sounds like the best maybe. idea. Also, have you noticed that you can't climb over the conveyors if there's a um, on the scaffolding over it? If oh, there's right. a conveyor on top of it, you kind of just get stuck. Oh, I did not know that. No. Nope. I well, found that out just now. I do now. But uh, I believe this goes input in the middle, output on this side, and controller on top. And then we need an inserter. I forgot about the inserter. Oh no! I gave this you one thing to so do. Well. Oh, and now we need another basic control circuit. Oh no! It's okay, we had stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. 
Um, there we go. Inserter. And do you have any, like, flowers or anything we can chuck in here? I do, actually. Ooh, I also have that a is pedestal perfect. for some reason. So I think the way you want to place this inserter is this way. And that way it should automatically grab from the output and put it into the bio generator. So uh, there right. we go. Lawrence has put some stuff in and it's processing. So when this is processed, it should stick biomass in here. Maybe. Mm, so I thought it did. Oh, oh there we it's go. It's doing stuff. Yep. And then it moves the biomass over automatically into here and makes some power. Nice. So that's actually pretty awesome. Now I, I just need to hook I it up. I like this. Can we attach this anywhere? Like, can I just put this on top or does it uh, matter which side? That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. No, that works completely fine. Does it? How do you know the power is coming out? Well, <laughs> it's not. How, well, how do you know that as well? Well, it, the inserter was still putting stuff in. And it's not. Oh, the inserter doesn't full. need power. For, so that doesn't help. Um, I need to get rid of you. So we'll find out if the lights stay on. No. The lights did not stay on. So maybe we Looks do need like to put the power the out back. the front. Out the back? Front, back, same thing. I was going to say, the front looked like where the uh, the picture was for it. So I didn't realize you were going to put down one as well. Yay, we have lights. So Yay. our lights will be entirely powered by our bio stuff. And I'm going to go home and grab a bunch of wheat. Because we have is. That's a so lot much wheat. wheat. Yep. So much wheat. Also, did you get a quest complete? I don't think so. Because I've got a pedestal for some reason. Oh, okay. We should have got grunt. a quest. Oh, yeah, the bio generator. Duh. Oh, okay. Got a quest complete for bio. So we have a lot of wheat and seeds. And yeah, we can probably probably use some of this wheat in that generator. Do you probably. have a hopper? And we can just like hopper into it with I a chest? I don't. Do we have any left? Hmm. New. No. Okay, we should be able to make one easy enough. But if you would let me out the door. Why but would I do that? I think the next thing we want to do is start bringing resources over. So you all noticed there was some steel scaffolding here. And we've got conveyor belts running over the top. So what we want to do is get the conveyors to drop. Uh, sorry, we want to get rid of hoppers and replace them with the dropping conveyors. Yes. And then that should hopefully just put all the ores that we're going to be bringing back straight into the... Um, the blast furnaces. Yep. Sounds You're good. really not helping today at all, are you? Just I, let me struggle. Yeah, I was doing stuff. Mm -hmm. I was grabbing more wheat. And oh, also, okay. you probably should have grabbed seeds instead of wheat. Well, I was going to, but I intentionally didn't. Oh, okay. How because comes? we d we can't duplicate seeds in this pack. So every time we put down a new farm, we're going to want a lot of seeds. I was uh, okay. That was that my logic behind it. I was thinking wheat could be tur turned into bread. That is true. Um, this has went off already. Is this yeah. not going to be fast enough? Huh. Um, I thought this would have been fast enough. Oh, it might be. Maybe it was just because it ran out, so its internal buffer ran out. It doesn't seem to be gaining anything. So I thought these lanterns were only meant to use one RF per tick. Mm. So I thought this one biomass generator would have been Ow. fine, but maybe we actually need two. Maybe. Because not all our lights are on, you may have noticed. Oh, no, only I have not them. noticed. So maybe we'll go ahead and make another one of these quickly. So we've just finished setting up our second biogenerator, and all our lights are on, which is quite nice. Yay, I so, can see. <laughs> yeah, it does help a lot. So we've rotated these around so we can just fill up this center chest with stuff, and then the inserters, I'll put it into both inputs, hopefully evenly, and that should keep us powered. Yep. But the first thing we need to do is unlock more research. So we've had this going a little well, and we got three stacks in there. So that should let us do some of the stuff we want. So the first thing we're going to look at is basic logistics. If I can remember where that is. It's logistics. Here. Yeah, that would make sense. And by that, I actually say it meant basic electronics, apparently. But oh. by combining the insert with circuits, we now have a way to sort items. So that's going to be quite handy going forward. Then we also want... No, we do want basic logistics as well, sorry. So this gives us additional conveyor belts. And one of those things we need, if we look at... I want to see what the code is. L001. So you can actually just search for this in JEI and it's very helpful. So this gives us a few different things. The main one we want here is the dropping conveyor belts. So I don't know if you want to make us some dropping conveyor belts. Yep. And we will swap out those hoppers for dropping conveyor belts. But then the other ones we are quite interested in 
I believe are in automation? No, nope. logistics, logistics. So I want these multi-block storage. I think they're gonna be really helpful. So to get that, we need logistical storage. By enhancing and fortifying a normal chest, you can now store a single type of item. Provides the single spot chest, which stores 64 items, and the advanced bin, which stores 2,048. So the single spot chest is probably gonna be quite good for like conveyor belt lines. Yeah, I think we can put that in. Did I not, oh, I don't have enough science on me. I need to go get more science. Ah. I'm hoping he's only using like the amount of C's and not double because there's two of us. That would be oh, sad. I hope so. Um, so I have made the dropping conveyors and I have a weird amount of frame lag. Okay. Because I'm all, I think it was because I'm trying to run around the conveyors at the same time. But, ah, so terrible. you wanted me, well, you didn't want me to, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to pop these down now. Um, so mm -hmm. just pop the dropping conveyor on top of these and hopefully any items that we send along the conveyor belt will fall into one of these. Yep. Maybe. So the last thing I just want to unlock quickly as well here is the multi-block storage. So this will unlock the silos and more shipping containers, silos and the Magneticraft shelving unit. So uh, all of these are going to be things we want to make. Yes. So if you've not yes, seen the shelving are. unit before, it lets you store like, I'd say like 26 different chests worth of stuff in one. I think so. It's, it's a it's, lot. It's, it's quite handy. It's very handy. But now that Lawrence has set this up, let's give it a quick test. So I should be able to get some, here's some copper. If you hold shift on a belt as well, it will stop it having effect. So I'm hoping they should just fall into the first machine. They do. Yeah. So that's awesome. And that's totally starting to smell them. So we're going to hook up all our excav excavators. Um, nope, Drills. that's not what they're called. Drills. So they start sending stuff back and we put all of our conveyors in a random place from memory. I think they're in this chest. Yeah, so if you want to grab some of them as well, mm, then I suppose. we can go over, I think iron, we'll start with iron. Uh, because okay. So we've already made this hole in the wall here. And I did was we? thinking- Or did the zombies? No, I made this hole. Oh, okay, yeah. uh, where are you? I am at the hole that I made. Oh, okay. Oh <laughs> um, yeah, that one. So we were thinking it might look a bit nicer if we run these back on scaffolding. And as I'm now realizing, it's already basically ground level. So this is just wasting a ton of steel and not actually helping anything. Oh, well. But, meh. It might look nice. I think it'll look nicer. If you want to start running conveyors back. And if you're doing that, I might give you another stack. And I'll go have a look at the iron hut and see just quite how we're going to do this. Because I never thought about it. Nah. But I think we might need some vertical belts to make this proper. Yeah, I think vertical belts and coming out the roof might be a better approach. What height are they conveyors at? Uh, they are 74. 74, and I'm currently on 75. So, yeah, if you want to dig a route sort of directly to the iron, I will go make some vertical belts. Okay. So we're just converting over the first iron one. So I'm actually replacing all the wheat with these rose bushes, just because then we don't have to come over and harvest the wheat every now and then. Um, so I've set the output on this side again. So I'll go along here, perfect timing, up the vertical and out that hole there. And I believe Lawrence has ran this all the way home now. Yes, it should so be coming back the as iron we speak. One should make it, yeah. Oh yeah, you can just see it going across That's there. awesome. Ouch. That was a big explosion. That Yay. sounded bad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish planting all these rose bushes down and then we'll be probably start working on the other ones, I guess. Yeah. Maybe start bringing them all home. Woo. So we've just finished setting up the first one and it kind of looks like this is working perfectly. So yep. it's dropped iron into quite a few of them. Oh, yeah. So we had a bit of a backlog. So, and then anything that can't drop in just keeps going around, which obviously is a bit of a problem because we had a big stock pellet iron beforehand. Yeah. So we probably want to put like a buffer chest or something on this, I think would be the best approach. Probably. So we'll obviously want to filter out stuff like the rose bushes because we're going to get a lot of them. And yeah, I think that should be fine. So guys, we've just finished setting up the last one. So we've got all the copper ore coming back along this nice scaffolding. And then it's coming out of this building, which is our coal and coal and iron chunk. And then obviously the iron one was coming over from there. They both merge at this point into the house. And then it seems to be working. 
I mean, the one big issue we've had is because we had such a backlog at the miners, uh, we had all this coal, all this iron, and all this copper, which was a bit too much for it to process in real time. So we're going to have to just slowly filter that in at the, as it's going. But we also have another problem in that because we're using the flower, you've just took out the flowers, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, because we've put those rose bushes at the other end, we are getting this chest filling up with rose bushes. So this is just the buffer in case we ever have too much. Um, but we need to filter out the rose bushes. And one good idea might be to filter them out and put them straight into our bio generator. And then we can like have self-sustaining like lights, best maybe. Idea. But I don't know if we want to fix that or work on storage first, because storage is annoying and I kind of want the magnetic craft. I'm looking at the chests and I think storage should be our first priority. Oh, well, that's different storage. That's different storage. Well, then I figure this stuff is like, well, this stuff we're not going to store. We're just going to process. No, I'm looking at the one that's full of ingots. Yeah, that one, that would be silos, I'm thinking. Can we not make silos for them? I'm thinking just a magnetic craft chest to begin with, so I can just dump my inventory rather than go oh, through okay. like 50 at home. Yeah. That was that was my logic first off anyway. <laughs> so the shelving unit looks really easy, it just needs a bit of paper, which obviously we don't have on us. But we could have on us. We could. And then all it needs then is just some iron grates and stone. I think you have some stone if you want to come with. Uh yes. I think Lawrence has been making some of that in the furnace down there. Yep. So I have some stuff. Our sugar cane did grow a little, so we should have enough for some paper. Oh, we might even have some paper. No, we shouldn't have any paper left. You don't make paper out of iron bars. Yeah, you do. Yeah. What are you talking about? That doesn't work. So I don't know how many of these we're going to need. I can't remember. But there is the shelving unit blueprint, and then... I guess where do we want to put it? Uh, I figured over at the main factory. Oh, I was thinking it would be in our house still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you know? I thought we would just works. be swapping all this stuff into chests. Yep. Can you get rid of this? Actually, I can get rid of it. I'm thinking over this side so we don't have to bother about moving all the chests straight away. Yeah. Oh, that fits perfectly that in the window. It's almost like it was planned. Yeah. And how many does that need then? Three by five by two. Uh, you need to bring it forward. 30 and 29. It's not three deep, is it? It's two deep. Oh, but you put it right in the wall. Yeah. yeah, you're right. We need to bring it forward one. Oops. So how many of these can we oh. make? Oh, I can't hold this. You can't hold it. Okay. Have you not claimed the quests then? I'm assuming. Uh, because maybe? claiming the quest runs the command to let you learn new stuff. What one am I looking for? Probably the unlocked ones. <laughs> yeah. What section? Um, I don't know. Automation, logistics, processing, it'll be one of the first three. Top right, that's the one you want, and then the one underneath it. Okay, there you go. No, it's the one underneath it you need. Oh. That's why I say it. <laughs> no, uh, silos and more. <laughs> yes, this... uh, the, and more is the ones we actually want. Okay. So iron bars, then we can use these to make, oh, that is too many different options. We want them, we want them. How many can we make? 28. I think that may be enough. I can't remember Probably. what I said when I mathed it, and I don't know if I mathed it correctly. Probably so, not, let's be honest. Yeah, probably not. Do you want to make a bunch of chests then? Uh, I think 28. Is that right? Uh, okay, can do. Oh, I'm one short. Uh, one, one short. Do we even have any iron over here? We do. Someone's destroying our wood. They've got inside somehow. How have um, they got inside? I'm not seeing them. I definitely heard them destroying wood, did you not? Yeah. Oh, he's there! I can see him. Oh, it's a baby zombie. Yup. And... He's inside the house. Oh. He's dead. But, uh, yeah, he did destroy some of the house. Well, just patch So that's annoying. So we need some more of them, which means we need some more of them. Uh, no, a few more of them, sorry. One more. There we go. More iron bars, and then finally, one last one of these. Even though the recipe makes four. Ah, well. But that should be it. I think I just need to right click here. Oh, this is so much better. Actually, you don't need to make chests. Because I'm an idiot. I've made some. Well, I just realized if we just break the chests we have, we'll, we'll have chests. <laughs> True. So we should be able to just 
hopefully this should all just fit in my in here. Oh, you can't control shift click. That's a shame. Yeah. Ah, makes me sad. Okay, let us go move everything into the chest, and we'll be back in a second. So guys, we've moved over all of our stuff into this Magnetocraft shelving unit and it is so much better being able to search all of our inventory at once. Yep. Ugh, I'm so happy about that. It is quite nice, to be fair. But we would like to store all our ores, like, well I say ores, all our smelted products like tin ingots and iron ingots and all that in silos. But silos require the, oh I forgot what they're called already, the iron... Sheet metal. Sheet metal, that is the right that was one. It. Yeah, an iron and sheet metal. No, that's not even the problem, but that is what I was asking for. Yeah. Oh, okay. They need treated wood fence, which means we need to make treated wood, which means we need a carpenter, which means we need bronze, which means we need an alloy kiln. Yeah, but that's kind even, of a rabbit hole. Yeah, and even if we had an alloy kiln, we need tin, because it's tin and copper that makes bronze. So we have previously found a tin chunk, which is here, which is quite nice. Now let's see. Oh, this is beautiful. Look how close this is to our belt. That is quite close. You were worried that we didn't have enough scaffold. Yeah, we only have eight scaffolds. So I was kind of thinking this was going to look a bit messy. But uh, where, where shall we put it? So I've already made another burner drill package. So I should be able to just put this down anywhere. Actually, I'm just going to check. This is definitely a... Tin chunk, yep, 7,490. Where shall we go? Here? Yep. That's beautiful, I think. And then we'll come out of this one. And I don't have any verticals or any normals, so... Is that right? Yeah, yep. there. So you just need to get that to go up now. Uh, you don't have any vertical belts know. either, yep. do you? Okay, let me go home and grab some vertical belts. And then we're going to have to hope that we have enough research to do the alloy kiln and things. I think we should. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. I think we still had like over a stack left, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if you want to have a look to see if you can find that research. Yep, can do. Yeah, so it's alloy kiln. And here is the vertical mm. belts. We should hopefully be able to get this going. And boom. Why is this not running? Oh man, I always forget that they actually need a drill. Ah. Uh, oh, they need a drill. Oh no. You can make a drill. I will go oh, grab yeah. the red science that we need for this. I can do not red science, red research. Same ah, thing. It's like you've never done this before. It's the same thing. <laughs> they're, they're clearly completely different. I don't know what you're talking about. But I do need some iron because we need, we need iron blocks for this recipe. So I'm... <laughs> Exactly. Just, I've just done the <laughs> research. Go. Oh, okay. That was exciting. Um, one, two, three, four. I can't count. Don't know why that didn't work. And then, boom, iron drill. So, um, I'm trying to find the recipe for it, but I can't. That alloy kiln. So it's like kiln brink, bricks, ah. I think it's called. Yes. And it's a two by two structure, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah. We are going to need some bricks, which is fine. That's just some clay. Oh, okay, you want me to go sandstone. destroy this building again? Um, I mean, we need the actual bricks, not brick blocks. So no. Oh, wait, um, can you not craft them down? <gasps> no. no. But we also need some red sand. Does which... it need to be red sand? Oh, no, it can be any sandstone. It was just stuck on red sandstone for oh, some okay, reason. Oh, that's fine. You were holding yep. shift, probably. No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know yeah, them. We should have you some know there's sand a furnace in here. Like... Why didn't we steal this furnace? No idea. There was a chest. There's even stuff in this chest. Man, we are so bad at looting. Yeah, <laughs> don't know how we missed that one. Yeah. But uh, I think we have some sand at home still, do we not? Or have we just been prioritizing the hardened sand? Uh, no, we do have some. Oh, awesome. So... And you know that because we can search. Yes, we can search. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. So... I keep putting stuff in the bottom shelf. I need to remember to go yeah. to the top shelf. <laughs> but So what was the other thing you said? Clay. Do we yes. have clay? I, don't, I actually didn't search for that. Ah, uh, we have 60 clay. Oh, yeah, is that enough? Be enough. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Well, I have no idea. You're the one looking at the recipes and things. So, so. Um, each recipe gives me two. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need four recipes. Uh, so we need like eight bricks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's I really need to amount. do this research, I just realized as well. 
So I'll claim that. Um, oh, we can we can already make the power drills. I didn't know that. Can we? It's only 25 reset. Oh, it does use 210 RF per tick. I think we're gonna have to bump up our power gain a little bit first. Yeah, that's like, a little. We can barely run to basic um, basic things. Basic assemblers. That's the word at right. a time at the moment. So yeah, we might need, I think we're gonna make more of these steam generators, maybe a bigger yeah. boiler. From yes. what I found out online, it sounds like there's no max size to this, as long as it's less than a thousand blocks, oh, which okay. just sounds crazy. Yeah, I don't know that if that's true crazy. or not. <laughs> but. But um, yeah, so you got the stuff for the alloy? I'm just waiting for these bricks to smelt up. Awesome. Are we seeing tin come back now? Oh, we are. That's Ooh, so nice. Yay. Oh, tin. Literally, it just went into this furnace as I was looking. Oh, nice. How beautiful and perfect. What's this random chest for? I don't know. Okay, I'll get rid of that. But if you're going to be a minute then, shall we come back? Yep, we'll come back in a sec. So, the bricks have smelted, and I've made the kiln bricks that we needed. So nice. I'm just going to place these down. It's just a 4x4, 2x2. Steal your thunder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, it's all right. Okay, you can do it. I was in the interface when you did that, annoyingly. <laughs> uh, I think you picked up the brick. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> Let me put it back down for you. There, you can boop yeah. it if you want. But um, I've actually already went ahead and got us... Oh, it doesn't the... go there. <laughs> no, I don't know why that shift clicked in there. But I believe bronze is three copper to one tin. Yep. So that should be the right amount. Hopefully. And we should get a stack, I guess. I don't uh, know how much it makes. It makes one. It makes one for four. Yep. Wow. So we'll oh, get 16. Oh, that's mean. 60 is actually still enough. 16. 16. Okay, yep. well, we need six plus eight. So that is a number. 14. 14. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, we that means we're getting 10 now. Like, yes. this is working. We have, I don't know why that wasn't stacking there. We've got 37 more 10 as well, which is nice. So this system is maybe not perfect no. at the moment, but it is working. Also, I've just noticed that lamp in the corner is not lit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you telling me our two bio generators are the exact right power for every lantern in bar one? Appar apparently so. <laughs> well, the thing that baffles me is everything I can find online says they take one RF per tick. I... And these bio generators are meant to make 120 per tick. I mean, the bio generators have a backlog of biofuel. Yeah. Wait, that makes even... Yeah. Maybe it's just... But it, one RF per tick wouldn't be using, like, I don't understand. I don't know. No, maybe we need to put, like, another biogenerator the other side, but, like... Maybe. Wait, we have green research? Oh, yeah, I was in one of the bags. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. I don't think one will do us any use. No. But uh, there's us got eight. So what is the next step once then? Once we've got them is what I mean. So we need the iron sheet metal as well. And we need a lot of this stuff. Yes. And... Eh, there's no point in us doing the plate recipe because we can't do one for one plates anyway. So, I guess the iron just... group? Yeah, I mean, we have lots of iron right now. Yeah. I'm just going to gonna waste a load of our iron. Well, I, yeah. I say waste, like, this is this is going to be worth it. It's fine. Yeah. I'm going to chuck all. Can you not shift click stuff in there? I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I could previously. Mm -hmm. I thought you could. Yeah. What is uh, going on? Ooh, there's multiple recipes for that. And you can make an unfamiliar item. Oh, yeah. For iron sheet melter. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I, that's my nice. shift key is broken, is what's happened. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> that's going to be super annoying. It's fine. You don't need it for, like, sneaking or anything. Oh, man. I can't, like, shift click a stack out either. Can you shift click stacks out? Yes. Oh, Jesus. This is so frustrating. You're going to need me to do anything. Also, we apparently have a stack of oh. iron plates here. Well, that's more confusing. It wasn't my shift key that was broken. Sticky it was keys? my keyboard has died. Oh. I don't so, know why the shift key was the only one not working to begin with. So you're, <laughs> so you're totally unable to move right now. Yeah, let me go fetch some batteries. <laughs> so new batteries and keyboard and we're good to go. <laughs> so let's make some more sheep metal. And also Lawrence has finished mounting up the bronze now. So we yes. should be able to make sturdy casing for the carpenter and then you see okay let's not look at UCs because there's too many wow but there is a carpenter Woo! yay it's weird the quest 
completes being like pay for research i often think when i craft something like i deserve a quest complete yeah <laughs> two years to that's, kappa that's yeah two years to project those i guess but that's not how it works where shall we put this here yeah. okay let's put it there what do we put in this i forgot what we're doing making uh, treated wood we're making treated wood yes so do we just literally put in wood uh no no yeah we do uh, okay. Do, well, you we said not, no. do we not need something else? No, you just put planks in. Okay. There you go. Some they're, planks. they're not planks. They're logs. They're logs. Okay. <laughs> uh, There's some planks. Okay. Oh, I need to put them in the top left, I think it said. And then no recipe. No matching recipe. What do about we not need a fluid as well? It doesn't mention a fluid in here. Oh, creosote. No, it says makes creosote oil. No, that that's it. it uses creosote oil. Oh, I thought this was saying it. T oh, no. no. Which means we need a coke oven. No. Yep. That, okay. That, <laughs> yeah. Coke oven time. I mean, I was kind of surprised we didn't do it, like, with creosote oil. But, I mean, meh, could have been. <laughs> right, I can't so even what see do we coke bricks. Do we need coke. to unlock? I think uh, we need to unlock that first. Hmm. Yes, PO3. PO3, so that'll be processing three. Yep. Which is... Creosote, up the top. Oh yeah, oh different, I'm looking at the wrong one. Do you have the uh, I do the not. research still? Uh, I was gonna run and grab okay, it. Okay, I will fetch it. I've got it, I've got it, don't worry. I I've got it. got it all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got it. There we go. I'll put it back so we can both have it. I used quite a lot. I'm glad we had enough this episode so yeah. far. <laughs> We Can't didn't speak. know we were going to need all this other stuff. Have we turned these machines back on? What? They're on. No, are they? Yeah, there's just oh, no stuff the, in them. The um... Oh, you can turn that on if you want, yeah. I don't yeah. know what happened. Oh, yeah, our lights will stay on. So, yeah, we, we found out we couldn't run the lab at the same time as these two control uh, assemblers. So we just put a lever on the front so we could turn it off. But, yeah, maybe yeah, it'll work works. fine. <laughs> anyway, coke oven, coke bricks, that's what we need. Oh, we need more clay. Uh, Hopefully we have clay and more bricks. Okay, we're going to need to make yep. more bricks. <laughs> I think we should have enough stuff for this, but it's going to take a minute. So let us smell all that stuff up again and we'll be back in a second. So it turns out we don't have enough clay. Yay. <laughs> it does turn out there is a recipe where we can make clay in the carpenter with a dirt and two slag. So it's we've... Good thing we just made one. Yeah, so we've compressed some of our slag and now we just need to put some water in. And no power. It does this need power as well? Yes. Oh man! You should know that you've used the carpenter God. before. Are you? Do you have power things? See, you don't have power things either. No, I don't. But well, that's why. Die. Go away! Look, if you kill me, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's because you didn't have power either. I don't know why you're making fun of me. It's, it's more I knew that it used power. You, were like, you oh, just elected oh, to not get any of the power stuff? <laughs> like, I thought you'd already hooked it up. Why would I have hooked it up when I didn't even know I needed water, let alone because power? I just expect too much from you, I guess. Clearly. So I should just build a pillar for power here. Hopefully. Yep. That's good. And can I reach that from here? I hope I can reach that from here. It's going to look a bit messy. This might not be anything's permanent location. I'm not going to be able to do that because it's going to go through the dirt. Yep. Did you just mind that? Yes. Thank you. That was very kind of you. This isn't the fastest. No. And it only made one. <laughs> we might need more water. Oh, it's a bucket pair. I thought like, I thought we would oh, get more yeah, no. than a bucket pair. Oh, no, it's a bucket pair. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's... Okay. We should probably get an infinite water source and a pump here then. Yes. Okay, let's let's go get some more buckets of water. Do you want to make a pump? Uh, yep. Yeah, Just like the immersive engineering pump should, well, I'm saying it should be yes. sufficient. I don't know if we've actually got access to anything else right now. Probably not. I don't know if they, the carpenter can auto pull as well. Like that would be nice, but I, I don't, don't think know. it can. We, we're not gonna find it. We should maybe make another carpenter. Because this one's going to be filled with water all the time. Yeah. And that's something we can do in a minute. Like, we don't need that right this second. No. But, how, is the pump tricky? I can't even remember. Uh, it's a little bit of microcrafting. Okay. Is uh, it microcrafting that you're capable of? Yes. Oh, microcrafting <laughs> that I'm capable of. Who knows? I mean, 
I actually don't know how tricky the pump is. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, um, I just need some fluid pipes. We are going to need to fix the power wires for this. Because as much as I liked my temporary... Th well, I didn't like my temporary <laughs> thing. But as much as it was sufficient for this, the, the pump's, pump's going to be in the way. way. So we need to do something different. So maybe if I put an LV wire really there. And from there to there. And then can you disconnect, can you break the power connector on top for a second, please? Yep. That would be awesome. And I should be able to put one back on now. And then once you've got your pump. Uh, which is here. Oh, come on. I was linking from there. Why did you not stay? Check it on the back. <laughs> uh, yep. Wherever it works. Oh, I, I always forget you can't like... You can't uh, break stuff with your gun in your hand. No. It just fires the gun. So please connect this time. Uh, we're going to need a redstone source as well. Why? For the pump. Oh, that's just like a lever or something. Yeah, it's more I haven't got any levers. Oh, okay. I've got stone on my inventory for some reason. Uh, so that's some. good. You've made some. I had stone. I oh, okay. You don't have sticks. Up. No. Well, uh, we've got uh, loads no. in the carpenter. Done. Yay. Awesome. So uh, we should be able to put the pump on. And have you set the output? Yeah, have. Oh, yep, that's filling up with water. Awesome. Woo. Yay. So we're going to get our clay this way. And then I think while we're waiting on the clay, we'll probably just go ahead and make another carpenter, which we'll use for the crazy oil. Yes. So um, we've produced enough clay. We've smelted enough clay. We've yep. got enough bricks. So... If I just click this recipe in here. No more rabbit holes, hopefully. No more rabbit holes. So <laughs> I can't believe we missed two major rabbit holes. <laughs> yep. I've made 27 clay clay bricks. Coke coal bricks. Same thing. I think it's just coke bricks. Uh, I mean, but if I... I mean, I other brands are available, pop. guys. Be sure to check yep. out Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, then boop it with a hammer. So we just chuck coal in here from memory. Uh, or I think you can also chuck in coal, coal bricks, but we kind of just want crazy oil pretty much as quick as possible. Yes. So we're probably just going to put regular old coke in there. And then I've also made another carpenter. Ooh. We probably should have just made a pump. And then we could have just put the carpenter like here. Should we just make another pump? Yeah. And then we could just set that there. But um, we can actually get started with some of these silos i think so the only thing we can obviously do is the treated wood so let's see how long is this we got 17 which doesn't divide nicely by three no so do we want like a space on either side like out from the walls and then all the silos touching i guess maybe yeah I, I don't know. I don't know what's the best approach. So I will start clearing out some space and start laying down some of these things for the silos. And then once we've got that pump up and made some crease oil, we should be able to get some of these working. So we've been away for a minute and we've got a coke oven making some coke. And it's made some crease oil, which means it's made some treated wood. Yep. Which is awesome. Thank you for setting up the pump there, Lars. It's okay. And this one's just set up to make clay. I think we're going to leave that because it's just kind of handy. Um, so I have set up most of the structure for the silos, minus the fact that we need the treated wood, obviously. And we've put some vertical converters here, and then it's underneath, so the belts are backwards. But this is going along this way, and then we'll run along the top. Now that I'm thinking about it, I haven't put dropping belts up there. So wow. I do need to quickly make, um, what are they called? Uh, I think they actually don't look called dropping belts. Oh yeah, they are literally called dropping belts. Well, that's nice and easy, except conveyors. we have no trap doors, so I need to make some of them quickly. And then I think it's just five. Did we make five, I believe? Yeah. I think it's five. Okay, so all we need to do is stop running away from the crafting table and make some <laughs> treated fences, which I think is going to be nice and easy. Minus Hopefully. the fact that I've not... Did I not grab the treated wood? I could have sworn <laughs> I grabbed it. Oh, I shift clicked it and it put it in its internal inventory oh, rather okay. than in my inventory, <laughs> which well, is silly. helpful, I suppose. Maybe mm. let's make that many sticks and hope that I've not overdone it. Mm, I don't know how many of these we need. 
I mean, it'll be five times four, but I can't be bothered counting. 20. So, yeah, 30 is plenty then. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's literally just in the four corners we need to put these. So it's going to look a bit weird because we've got them literally touching, but I think it should work okay. I've never yeah, tried this, hopefully. but... Well, I guess we'll find out together in a second. Yep. If I can click on there, boom, boom, and then it should just be a case of going along with the engineer's hammer. Oh, yeah, I was clicking the wrong place. Awesome. Oh, that yeah. was very satisfying. That is quite satisfying. They look quite nice as well. I do like the look of these, yeah. Um, so what do we want in these is the well, next question. We're going to want coal, iron, copper, tin, right. and I want some carpet because I wanted to do your cheesy getting up the top thing. <laughs> I don't know where I put my carpet. Uh, it's I maybe over here. Just lost Can you some... give me some carpet? <laughs> uh, yep, there's some. Thank you. We can have some more as well. Yeah, so it was just so I could do this before you do anything or else nothing will work. But I need to jump up here and run the conveyor belts first. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I chucked some iron up there. You chucked some iron up there? Yeah, I chucked some iron on the conveyor belt so that it will go in. Oh, well, it won't go in anywhere. Yep. because there's nowhere for it to go in. So I guess the other problem we're going to have with this current setup is if there isn't a place for it to go, it's just going to fall on the floor. So we maybe ah. want to fix that in a minute, but that's definitely that's like a, a problem for later. Yeah, that's like a later problem. But you should be good to try it now, okay. I think. We'll find out. Uh, I don't have any... You know what, you can have some copper instead. You should be able to just, if you swap over the belts so they're all going that way, we're smelting enough stuff that it should just work pretty instantly. I mean, I just wanted to make sure that stuff was going. Nah, let's go big go big or go home, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, go big or go home. So what we've done here is we've just hooked up the conveyors so now they all go onto this vertical belt and hopefully go along. So that's going to be slag, then maybe tin, yep. maybe iron. I can't tell what it is. Oh, we've already got copper going over. Oh, this is working. Yay. This is working nicely. So copper, iron, I really wish it told you <laughs> what it had in it. <laughs> um, and I think we can grab them out by clicking here. No? I um, thought you could click out the bottom. You can hopper out the bottom of these. So I guess we're going to have to put like hoppers into chests. So we've always able to get access to like a little bit at a time at least. Yeah. But that's quite nice. So... I guess it's just coal and tin we're missing from there. I think tin is this one, is it not? Yeah, that could be tin. It could be iron. I'm really not sure. <laughs> yeah, just grab one but Either way, this is awesome. I am happy. We have got all our ores coming back home. We've got a much bigger hole in the wall now. Not entirely sure why. <laughs> I'm guessing one of those alien bugs decided to destroy that. Uh, but either way, this feels like pretty good progress for an episode, so... I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Be sure to subscribe if you are. If you liked the episode, hit that like button. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon. Bye! Bye.